head on over to FIFACoinZone.com if you need Ultimate Team Coins and use Dirty at checkout. And hold up! Do you want some games? Do you want to invest in some codes? G2A's got your back. Dirty will also get you that extra discount. Ah! What's happening, my beautiful people? And yes, today we have a brand new series and we're going back to the roots. A lot of you guys asked for a road to glory and I'm going to complete this road to glory. I am going to complete this road to glory. My goal is to showcase as many squads as possible as we progress through divisional play. I want to get back to some of my original stable points when I started this YouTube channel and post commentary was something I specialized in. But I want to have the total package. I want to give you guys a road to glory that has the trading, it has the squad advice, and just how to generate coins. Certain videos I produce, it's kind of hard to slide in tons of gameplay without making it a 15 or a 20 minute video, but in this series, I'm going to dedicate and commit myself to giving you guys everything and then some. Remember, if you ever want to watch full gameplay, twitch.tv forward slash dirty mic on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys are excited, if you're hyped, for everyone who's asked me about a road to glory, please drop a thumbs up right now or get in the comments. Let me know what adjustments I need to make to the squads, how to invest these coins, trading tips or methods that you want showcased, that you want delivered because some trading methods or ways to generate coins take a lot of time. So I might need days in advance to make sure that I can generate that content to showcase it to you guys, the community. Aguero's got a special place in my heart. Here's our starter pack and I want you guys to note this is a fresh account. I am going to be a level 1 or a level 0 on the catalog. I'm not going to have anything extra, no benefits. When you guys start Ultimate Team, if you have a high level on the catalog, there's a lot of items you can buy or you can purchase to go ahead and generate instant coins. You can make some money just off the rip. But this is for guys that just got the game, basically. If you got the game for Christmas, this is going to be the perfect series for you. Because we're now in January. And everything's going to apply. We've had the Team of the Year market crash. And expect another one coming in the near future when Team of the Season hits. Packs will be whoo, all over your subscription box. We need a good club name. Dirty Town, TIP or TIP for the abbreviation. Confirm club name. And we're in there. We got a lone legend pack. Ah, what kind of legend are you going to give me? It matters. It matters, EA. Ah. Oh, and we got Soul Campbell here to link up with some people. I'm going to throw all these players up on the transfer market. I don't really have expectations for them to sell, but at this point where you have no coins, it's worth that additional time. Most of you guys should be well aware, but if not, you are granted an FUT draft token when you start Ultimate Team. So that's where we're going to begin. And I need a badass draft because if I win this draft, I can get some huge bonuses in terms of a kickstart. For squad building with those packs. Love the 4-3-3 attack. We also have the 4-1-2-1-2. I'm going to use the steak and mashed potatoes. We're going with the 4-1-2-1-2. We need to win this draft. We need to perform well. So at this point, a lot of people would always go for that Messi. Gareth Bale, though, is brilliant. But I will go with the safe choice. 99 Messi. All right. Welcome you into the club. We'll welcome you in. I like Raphael, but you can't ignore Sturge is going to be the most valuable player out of this group. Damn. James. 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 Ooh. Wow. This is tough. Y'all might not agree, but I think I've got to take Yaya Torre or control the midfield. And with three center mids, he could be used in any of those positions with so much value. None of these guys are going to work. If you guys are lacking in coins in Zanzi, real deal. Certified. I like Pepe, I like Laporte, but it makes more sense. A lot of French link-ups. We're going to end up with some sort of Liga BBA mix in this. Zoom all day. Easy. I'm going to go Liga BBA, and I'm holding out for the Blue Alves. So we're going to go with Carvajal. Let's see. We got Mandanda which already makes sense with the two Frenchmen, so let's go with the safe choice. I love this Fernandez card. You can get him into a squad, you won't regret it. However, he's not going to make it into this team. Oh! This is good. Fernandinho, I'll take him. We got strikers. And we got strikers plus another Gareth Bale. Mmm. I'm going to put Benzema up top. I love the guy. Makes a big difference for me. And then my strike force is going to be in a good spot. Oh! There we go! There we go! There we go! Ah, proud moments. I knew not to take 
Neymar. I felt it. I felt like we had another blue. I felt like we had another blue. Well, no brainer. 99 and 97. Oh, it looks so pretty. We've got to go Ronaldo. I'm not sure where Ronaldo fits in this yet, but the other choices just don't make sense if we're going for Ws. Give me a minute. Let's see what I can put together for chemistry, but we have so many brilliant players. I'm not even mad or upset if the chem isn't perfect. So this is what we've got. An 86 rating, 94 chemistry with the best super subs you could ever ask for. Team of the year, Neymar, Messi, and then we have an inform Ronaldo. Oh yeah, this is gonna cause some problems. Surely it's gonna cause some problems. For our opponent! Just a reminder, instructions are always key. Up top, we're gonna let Benzema and Serge do whatever they want. We're staying forward with our cam. Stay on the edge of the box, aggressive interceptions. I'm gonna have our central midfielders, you know, bounce for their attacking. Once again, aggressive. And then I like people staying on the edge. I just don't look at many crosses. And I find that the defensive positioning is better uh, because they're not all the way into the box. They're overly committed. So we're gonna do that for both of them. Uh, and with our CDM, in this case, our central midfield with Yaya Torre. Cup passing lane, stay back while attacking. And because it's Yaya, I'm actually gonna have him on aggressive as well. Huh? For Rick Rawson, not Flossin, but we are trying to smash and dash. As you see our opposition, match numero uno. He has the team of the year Messi, Iniesta, and then an inform Ronaldo. That's dangerous. As we get the drag back from heaven, and it almost wiggles into that post. Almost. It was close. It was close. As we drop it off inside, Benzema's got all the time in the world. Use the outside of his boot. And we finesse it into the back corner. We're 1-0 in the 34th minute. And I want to talk about the draft. Overall, draft was the best addition to FIFA 16, in my opinion. However, EA, you're being a little bit lackluster now. I think you got excited because you guys finally sat around your table. And instead of coming up with, oh, I think it's good to add fog. Instead of rain this year, y'all came up with the draft. And the draft is a good look. However, if you want longevity for your title, you want people to continually pay for that draft and in hopes of getting some dope packs at the end of it and being a champion, y'all need to add some variety. I want bronze and silver players. I don't want to see Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar every single draft. It's a bad draft. If you don't get any of the big three and they're not colorful, you had a bad draft. Look at, look at us. Look at us. Killing. Killing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can you finish? Oh, shit. No brainer. Can he finish? Mike, can he finish? Ah, my goodness. But let me know what you guys think of the draft. Do you like it? And I think most people have to be a fan of the draft, but... I just think they gotta tone it down a bit. Every single draft it would be in your best interest to make a legal BVA squad at this point because you know you're gonna get Ronaldo, you're gonna get Messi, you're gonna get somebody from the big group of boss players that change matches. And one of my most frequently received questions, all right, as we get our sixth goal. Six! God! Woo! That is how to send a message in the first game of the draft. But one of my most frequently asked questions, who's better, Ronaldo or Neymar? And pre-patch, so before the, the patch that came out, I guess a month ago, or whenever that uh, actual launch was, it seems like it was at least a month ago. Before that patch, I had Neymar as a better player than Ronaldo because for whatever reason, EA had toned down Ronaldo. He was a little bit clunky even at times. He was missing the bullshit factor that makes him special. As we go 1-0, that is a phew, brilliant free kick. It is beautiful. James Rodriguez, by the way, is worth whatever he's being uh, charged or whatever he's being listed at on the transfer market. He's a center attacking mid that has never let me down in terms of production, especially if you're going to play him as a central in a central role as a cam. I know it's supposed to be a center attacking mid, but if you were playing him in a 4 triple 2 you're not going to get the most out of James Rodriguez, for example. He needs to be the single cam, in my opinion, to maximize his production. And that's what you want to do. You want to get the most out of him. As we get a counterattack, and look at that. Providing pinpoint accuracy. Can he finish? Thank goodness. Sturge is always going to offer you opportunities to run through and to cause problems. And he's just big. He's fast. And he's a finisher. He ends plays with goals. He has a little bit of that BS factor as well. Now back to the Neymar versus Ronaldo debate. I have not stopped that. I didn't go off subject. I just had a quick moment. All right, I was watching the gameplay. 
But I think Ronaldo is better than Neymar post-patch. Neymar pre-patch because I think EA tried to tone down Ronaldo's overpowered or the Ronaldo abusing. However, after this patch, he's got it all back to the normal. He's going to score a ton of goals. You can't stop him. Both feet. Five-star skills. Did I mention that he's athletic, right? And you see match number three. What do we keep seeing? Blues! Always blues! With a Messi and a Ronaldo. And it just ruins the feeling of special. When you play the draft, when you open packs, when you buy somebody off the transfer market and it's a rare card, you want to play, or you want to feel special, excuse me. You want to feel like, damn, that was sick. You know, I'm one of few. Or I'm feeling a little bit lucky today. As we go down 1-0 off a penalty kick, and I have a theory here as we just beat down the post, kind of just pointing on the rebuttal there. We don't need to be playing any kind of beer pong anytime soon. Actually, I'm going to be getting too old for beer pong these days. I lost the college vibe. When you're in college or university or even, I guess, if you were drinking in high school, beer pong all day, every day, it's allowed. I'm not co-signing underage drinking. I just know that it happens, okay? I got to throw out a disclaimer, all right? Ooh, that's a big takeaway. Can we start something from that? And there's the layoff. And I didn't bring on my Ronaldo, Messi, or Neymar till halftime. I decided to use my super stubs as we get a bit of a rebound. Nice little diving header. I think Neymar made that more difficult on himself. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. And the connection in this game wasn't perfect. And look at that return. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that. But I, I don't know if you can see that the game's lagging or has a little bit of delay. Either way, it does. And my my advice to anyone who plays a lot of FIFA, if you ever get dealt a game, and you will, where the connection is not ideal, you're not pumped up about the connection, you don't like it, try to play a little more direct as we're just going back and forth. But by direct, I mean pass, pass, through ball. Pass, pass, chip, through ball. Or pass, shoot. Keep it simple. The skilling and the additional extra touches don't usually work well when the connection isn't on point as we have just the winner that actually has some skill moves involved and everything like that. But Neymar, the ball sticks to his feet. What can I say? It sticks to his feet. And we're up 4-3, heading into the finale. Heading into the finale. And that's how you want to start a road to glory. Because the draft is not easy. And I'm also a level 2, which means... Time to get that reward boost. It's only 500 FCC points, and you get a couple extra hundred coins for five matches. It's worth it. Remember, I used a fresh account because I wanted to show you I had no advantage from playing more FIFA than other people, from investing in coins, from doing anything that was out of the ordinary. I wanted to give you guys the startup of all startup accounts as he's got the Hero Aguero. De Bruyne and then Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is dangerous. He's just as good as Ronaldo for me this year. I don't know where y'all come into play on that debate, but in my opinion, Gareth Bale is very close to the exact same skill level or value as Ronaldo in this installment. Of course, he doesn't have the five-star skills. Thankfully, Sturge comes back and scores a goal after that fluff of a person his hand type of shot. Oh, big time save from Mandana. I never rated Mandana this year, but a lot of people like him, and he played really well for me with this squad, so maybe I'll give him another roll through uh, as we're going, and we're cutting, and we're moving and grooving, and one issue I will say with this team has been that, that inform Benzema, man. Uh, he wasn't that impressive. He went missing for long spurts in almost every single game and that's kind of frustrating because if you were paying that price for him you need to have better results i can't remember which in form uh, uh benzema that marshall 89 hg he's another youtuber he does player reviews mostly i can't remember which one he said was terrible but one of them he didn't like there's been a few and i would say it might be this 87 benzema because he just was not around the box or around those attacking areas as much as I'm used to from such a high caliber player. Can we? Oh, we can. Yaya deliver. And I love Yaya Tori for free kicks. Last year I talked about it. This year is no different. He's got it for me. I'm not sure if it's his run up. I'm not sure if it's just him, but it works. It gets the job down. Job done. We're up 3 0. This one is over. And that's a whew, killer goal. 
uh, but it's too little too late it's just a consolation and we finished 3-1 I outplayed my opponent in the final and in the majority of these matches I think we had a better run of gameplay but we all know that does not mean you're going to win in FIFA it doesn't work that way got some okay packs I'm really counting on the premium gold players pack however one of the openers Taliso is not a bad pull you're gonna be able to sell Taliso and at the beginning stages you want to try to sell everything you get uh, I like to hold on to the contracts if they're non rare because you're never gonna need rare contracts so you can always list those up for sales if you get chemistry styles sell them there'll be more valuable selling at this point yeah pack 2 was bad news and pack 3 is not much better when a non rare is is the best you've got when you're guaranteed rare players kind of rough but just list things up, uh, check footbin out, see what will sell for what. And if you're patient, you're going to make coin. Patience equals coins. As we get Casillas, who is unfortunately not a big seller at this point either. And neither is Turan or anyone in that squad necessarily. But you can make some money. Look at this. So I got 1200 instead of discarding them. Casillas, I think I sold for 1000 Taliso, I got 1000 or 1100 A few of those bronze players. Remember? We got that free pack, the free legend pack. Well, I listed them to see if somebody was trying to do a bronze bench. And guess what? A few of them even sold. So instead of discarding them for all of 7 or 10 coins, I was able to get 200 coins or 150 coins which is pretty sick. I'm not mad at it. So if you guys do enjoy the series, make sure to drop a thumbs up, please, down below. What should I do? I've got 15,000 coins right now. 15,000 coins to work with. What should I do? I'm looking forward to all y'all's suggestions and feedback. I have a lot more content coming for you.